What I forgot to mention when I introduced you was that you have a, an education in business administration and economics. And I, I find that a very interesting addition to uh, the, the engineers. Um, and uh, I think we could notice that in, in a couple of points you made in your presentation. One size does not fit all, bridging the gap, people-centered. Um, and I also find inspiring how you uh, indicate the, the link between uh, policies, investment, science, and technologies. I'm hoping we can come back to that uh, yeah, and, and the, uh, we can address that in some of the questions. Um, our next uh, speaker is uh, engineer Tarek Al Ghaffari, um, head of local competencies projects at the Saline Water Conversion Corporation in Saudi Arabia. So, Mr. Al Ghaffari, I'd like to ask you to come to the floor. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll start by talking about our vision and uh, our mission in general. Microphone. So, in the microphone. Okay. So I'll start uh, by talking about our vision and mission and how we focus about development and innovations in general and what we look into uh, particularly. So uh, at the beginning, our uh, vision is basically to be uh, excellence in leadership uh, in water. And uh, our mission is to secure water uh, and make it safe and secure for everyone in the world. And we will We'll explain and show that throughout the presentation. So our agenda today, as I explained earlier, so we'll have an overview and then we'll talk about the uh, mobile desalination units and then uh, we will conclude with the innovation and developments and how those can uh, develop our way of thinking in terms of uh, desalination uh, technology. So in here, as I mentioned earlier, so here we can see clearly our uh, vision and mission. And there are uh, key pillars that we have to focus on. And uh, we can see them in here, which is the uh, health, industry, environment, uh, life quality, economics, and uh, social development. So our next slide will talk about the uh, mobile desalination unit and how it started. So basically it started uh, not too long ago. Uh, the higher management decided uh, to uh, uh, make the uh, local engineers uh, op uh, engineer, operate, and uh, execute the whole plant. And that's how we did. So there was no uh, contractor, no consultant uh, in the way. Uh, so what the engineers did basically they did all the engineering and the detailed engineering in addition to all the procurement and the execution. And the outcome was we were able to achieve the Guinness World Record as uh, it was set in here, 2.27 uh, kilowatt uh, per meter cubic. Uh, and all of those aligns with our uh, vision of uh, 2030 and we will see those in the upcoming slides and how those innovations are being held and applied in our uh, desalination uh, technologies. So in here we also uh, show our uh, packages for those uh, desalination plant and as we see in here we have uh, three different uh, packages which is basically the standard and then we have the premium and ultra premium. So as you see in here as we go uh, higher for example if we look at the premium we can offer a full mobile desalination plant that is uh, uh, operated through clean energy. So no, uh, off grid basically uh, with a self cleaning system. So and if we look at the ultra premium, we can make it very smart to reduce the, uh, uh, op uh, the operators uh, within the plant. And uh, the amount varies between uh, 2000 meter cubic per day all the way up to uh, 10,000 meter cubic per day. And in here we can see our innovation and development. If we can look at them in a clockwise, we can see the uh, main pillars that we have put them together in order to arrange those. And those things we are uh, focusing on them and uh, some of them are ambitious and some of them are targeted. And we've actually been uh, successfully able to uh, apply most of them uh, and make, it, make them applicable in the desalination, uh, desalination industry. And here are some of the examples that we have uh, looked into. For example, one of the things that uh, we, uh, we looked into is the membrane recycling. So uh, we know that in, in Saudi Arabia is the, has the biggest, uh, and, uh, has the biggest desalination plants in the world. So uh, we do use a lot of membranes. 
So the way we have uh, tried to fix this is basically by uh, recycling the membranes. So currently what we are able to do is uh, take those uh, membranes and then we clean them and then we can utilize them in brackish water and other, other uh, in a brackish water so we don't, so we make the e ecosystem better. And then another thing we looked at is the ion exchange. So now we are uh, trying to uh, enhance the pretreatment system and the way we do it uh, is basically we are uh, trying to use the technology or uh, development called Zeolite to reduce the salinity of water and uh, to uh, make the water easier for it to uh, be desalinated. And uh, the last of those ambitions uh, we've lo we're looking at currently is the carbon nanotubes. So basically carbon nanotubes are very ambitious. Is uh, Unlike the uh, RO, uh, the reverse osmosis membrane, because in the reverse osmosis membrane, uh, you need a lot of pressure to be applied in order to get the salt separated. Whereas in the carbon nanotubes, we believe that in a normal uh, pressure range, you can separate the water and get a, a portable water that can be utilized for, uh, for, uh, for the people in general. And then uh, in the next slide, we also focused on uh, different uh, smart technologies. So basically those uh, smart technology we've looked at is uh, like the satellite imaging. So now we are trying to use the satellite imaging to tell us about uh, uh, any attacks, blooming attack or jellyfish attack. And the way we, uh, this technology will definitely help us in terms of determining uh, when uh, to operate and when to save more uh, water and how to and the condition of the sea uh, in general. In addition to all of those, we all, we are also interested to apply the uh, robotics uh, in our operation, and those are currently under uh, development. And hopefully, by the upcoming uh, next months, we can see the uh, we can see them in real life. And then uh, the end of it now, uh, we are using smart glasses in, uh, in our engineering and uh, communication. Uh, as you all know, uh, we have uh, so many plants uh, uh, around uh, the country. And uh, the way now uh, we are trying to optimize the process of them and uh, make the communication easier is basically uh, through using uh, smart glasses. So with those smart glasses, uh, you can clearly see things. I, I hope the presentation uh, can be seen so you can see the video uh, we've made. So even when I'm here, if, I was in, if I'm in Cairo and I want to contact one of my friends uh, or my colleagues uh, back in Saudi Arabia, I can definitely contact them and uh, walk them through basically the plant. And if they need assistance or any help, we can do that. And uh, if we go to the last slide, I can show you a small video that uh, I walked through a mobile desalination plant and I started discussion uh, as a remote assistant with uh, different, uh, with, with my colleagues, of course. Uh, so all of those we believe that will uh, definitely help and change the uh, water industry. Uh, because as we all focus on the water scarcity, it's very important to look at the development. Because we believe in the uh, water industry, there are a lot of rooms to improve and uh, show that uh, the water can definitely be reduced in terms of uh, capex, in terms of uh, energy, and all of those. And we believe we can make those changes happen soon. Thank you. So thank you, Mr. Tariq Al-Ghafari.